Um, so now I'm going to give you this alternative explanation that tries to take into account this arc. Okay? So I'm going to start with the same thing. Right? The FBI is questioning, uh, has been questioning the mayor's staff. The mayor must be allowed involved in something crooked. Okay? Um, both of these, again, so this is what I'm going <coughs> to, what I just said, that, that both of these are events in the world. Right? There are specific things that you can point to, even though one is the evidence and one is the claim. Um, what we're doing in linking up the two is we're saying when one event happens, then the other event must have also happened. Right? That's the nature of the relationship between evidence and claim. Right? That relationship between two events, and we're saying one um, implies the other. Okay? Um, what I'm arguing now is that the reason is what <coughs> both of these two events have in common which is to say both of them, and this, this goes back to something that Hobbes said about um, universals, right? Um, a universal is when you take one attribute of something and you create a category based on that attribute, right? So, um, you know, um, uh, you know, so, so uh, what, 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 what examples did we have like, uh, um, we are all humans, right? And so our humanity links us all, we all belong to the same category, right? But that's one attribute that we all have. And so that puts us in this same category. And what I'm saying is that the, when, you have a, when you develop a reason, you're also doing the same thing in relating the evidence to the claim. You're saying they both participate in, a, in the same um, property or attribute characteristic, which puts them in the same category of things, right? And that, and that common attribute they have is the crooked behavior, right? They're both part, you know, the, the questioning of the mayor, the questioning of the staff, and um, the mayor being involved in something crooked, they're, they're both, they both are part of this, uh, they, they both participate in this characteristic of being crooked, of crooked behavior, right? And so, um, but that's all you're doing with the reason. So this is, this is what's important about the reason and why the reason is not sufficient, right? Because we're establishing that they both have this characteristic, but we have not established that it's necessarily true that they both have that same characteristic. Could be just a coincidence, right? It could be, um, in fact, it could be I mean, here, I mean, this is a pretty good example. It, you know, clearly, the, the, cl the fact that the FBI, the FBI has been questioning the mayor's staff, it, it might not be an indication that the mayor was involved in something crooked, right? Um, what we need is something else that tells us that that evidence um, correlates with this claim with respect to this this particular quality of being of, of crooked behavior, right? So the, the reason is telling us the, the particular quality that, that both of these things have in common, but it, it's not telling us that there's a necessary relationship between the evidence and the claim with respect to that reason, okay? That's a little tricky, right? <laughs> because what we're saying is that there's two ways of linking the evidence and the claim. One is through the reason, and one is through the warrant, right? And that the reason um, has two, well, the reason is one in which we're, we're linking both of these specific events to one quality. And we do it in two ways, okay? And this is, <coughs> um, the reason's not an event in the world, it's a quality. It's a general quality, right? Um, and on the one hand, what we're doing, I mean, the difference between the evidence and the claim is that the evidence is something that you, you, you're pointing to something in the world, you're, you're looking at the FBI questioning the mayor's staff, and you're, you're taking all the possible co characteristics of that. All the, you know, because, you know, you look at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the FBI questioning the mayor's staff, there's all sorts of different things you could say about that, right? Yes, you could say it's a sign of crooked behavior, but you could say it's a sign of boredom by the FBI. You could say it's a sign of paranoia by the FBI, right? 
It could be assigned to all sorts of different things, but we've chosen this particular quality to focus on in the evidence, right? Because every, you know, every time you point to something in the world, there's all sorts of qualities that it can have, right? Um, and we've decided to focus on this particular quality, and that's part of our warrant, right? On the other side, we're linking that attribute of crooked behavior to the event of the claim, right? And so, um, again, we're assigning this quality of crooked behavior to an event, and we're, we're, we're kind of, you know, in this case, we're not starting with the event. We're starting with the quality, and, and then we're, we're kind of figuring out, well, what event matches up with that quality? What other event besides the questioning of the mayor's staff links up with that quality, right? Okay, so there's, there's these two movements that are going on. One that's going up toward the quality, that's the evidence. I mean, that's the, the, the part of the warrant that, that talks about the evidence is linking, is saying this aspect of the evidence is the, one, is the aspect that we're gonna focus on. And then on the other side, we're gonna start with this quality and we're gonna find an event um, that has that quality. Okay? So, in this way, that's how we're making that connection. Um, by having that explanation that can do um, both, of, both of those, the, the, the thing going up and the thing going down, right? Which is to say, reducing the event to that quality and then taking that quality and finding an event that matches up with that quality, right? And so, um, the, um, the way that it's happening is that the warrant is, is giving us a relationship between event and, um, and claim that links the two together while the reason also it, 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 it links the two together in a correlation. When we have one, we have the other. Whereas the reason, it doesn't link the two in a correlation. It's just saying both of them have the same quality without, without actually telling us um, that it's necessary that they both have that same quality, right? The warrant is the thing that's telling us, oh, it's, it, there's a correlation that's necessary that they have that same quality. And it's explaining why it's necessary that they have that same quality, okay? So that's, uh, let me, I'm gonna give you, just to illustrate a little bit better, I'm gonna give you a second example, all right? And the second example of a, is of a windsock, all right? Okay, we've got the windsock up there, it's blowing to the south, all right? That's our evidence, we look at that, and we conclude the wind is also blowing to the south, all right? Um, and the way we conclude that is by saying, when we look at the evidence, the wind's not blowing to the south, we're gonna focus on um, this reason, which is the attribute, the quality, which is going to the south, right? Sort of moving toward the south. That's the quality we're looking at. We're not gonna be looking at the fact that it's white and orange. We don't care about that. We're gonna just focus on this quality of going to the south, right? And then we're gonna say, that the wind, we're gonna attribute that quality to the wind also. The wind is also going to the south. That's our attribution of that quality. And we found, basically we, we, we're starting with the quality up there and we're saying, well, what else is going south? The wind is going south, okay? Now, when we say that, right, we're justified in saying that by the warrant. And the warrant says, well, the windsock is being moved by the wind, therefore, the, the, whichever way the windsock is going, uh, the wind is also moving, right? And so that's the warrant, right? Um, so, <coughs> again, the reason is the way in which both of them, the windsock and the wind, they both participate in this same quality going to the south, right? But you could say, for instance, you could, you, could lock, you could look down the street, there's also a car that's driving south, right? It's also sharing that quality, right? So the, the car could also be here, it's also going to the south, 
right? The difference, though, is that we have no warrant to tell us that the, um, when the windsock is moved toward the south, the car is also going to go to the south, right? There's no warrant that's going to tell us that. So even though that they share that quality, you could say they share that, yeah, they share that attribute of going to the south, um, there's no warrant that says that there's a necessary correlation between the windsock going to the south and the car going to the south, right? That's why the warrant's necessary, okay? The reason gives us, you know, the particular ground, the basis for relationship for the two, right? But the warrant is giving us the reason there's a necessary relationship between um, the quality here and the quality there, okay? So hopefully that maybe explains it a little bit better.